Okay, we're going to be installing a Ghost Piezo system into a 2005 PRS Swamp Ash Special. Um, I do have the Acoustaphonic uh, preamp that's also going to go in this guitar. So right now, um, this is just standard three-way uh, McCarty wiring and standard PRS bridge. So you can see here that I've removed all of the trim to body screws uh, from the PRS. And I'm just left with the trim block and the brass block on the back side. And I'm gonna use uh, the outline of the brass block to determine where to make my holes for the uh, individual piezo saddles coming through from the top side of the bridge plate down to the uh, back side and into the control cavity. So just showing you here. Did have to remove, uh, I think I had four uh, springs to the uh, spring plate back there that uh, I had to remove. Uh, so the tremolo is completely out. And we'll be going from there. Okay, so what I've done here is um, disconnected the trim block from the trim plate, uh, disconnected all the saddles. Um, and one thing I didn't really know before I uh, started into this was how big the little connector on the end of each uh, piezo saddle was. Um, it's small and small enough to fit into a hole uh, that size so it's the block um, to plate connection so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole that size on the front side of each one of these string holes just forward of um, where the block mounts on the underside right here so that's where I'll be going in with the new hole for each uh, saddle's wire and then um, I'm also planning to uh, touch countersink each one like the strings are there so I don't wind up chafing uh, one of the saddle wires um, so we'll be doing that next so what I did here was take the bottom side of the bridge plate marked my drill locations halfway between where the string will come up and where the trim mounts to the body so that's the center line and that's where I'll make my hole for each saddle wire. So you can see here I've um, added the holes because of the lack of a great drill press they're kind of not uh, aligned as much as I'd like um, but they should be hidden under the saddle so it hopefully won't matter. Um, one thing to note is that uh, at each hole, I did put a bit of a countersink in there just so um, as the wire goes down into the control cavity, uh, it's not rubbing on a sharp edge. So that's something you're probably going to want to consider doing. So there we go. So you can see here I've got the piezo saddles installed and all the wires running through the control cavity. I had to drill a hole from the trim cavity uh, into the control cavity. So I've got all the wires coming through and they're in the summing board. All the piezo saddles are installed and the wires are running uh, down through the trim cavity into the control cavity. So as you can see here, I've got uh, the bridge completely reinstalled. Strings are back in. Um, I lowered the bridge plate as far as I felt comfortable with uh, but I wanted to leave some space there so that where the edges ride on the uh, body screws that I left some space for the wires to get actually back down into the trim cavity so looking from the other side here which we've already seen this um, but now I've got the trim block uh, completely uh, installed back in. I've got the wires running down this way uh, through this side here uh, back into the control cavity. 
and then into the summing board, but I haven't put in any of the electronics yet, so that'll be next. Okay, so for this mod, what we're going to do, um, I am going to make my quick switch. Uh, I'm going to make a push, I'm going to add a push pull uh, pot to this volume. So before I get started, here is the normal swamp ash or McCarty type wiring, the uh, volume tone and uh, three way toggle. And the tone right now is push pull. I'm going to add a push pull. Um, to the volume. So I'm kind of in the middle of taking the old volume out and wiring up the new volume push pull. Uh, lots of harnesses, so GraphTech really does make it pretty easy uh, to get uh, the new stuff installed, even though this looks a bit messy right now. Uh, it's just because as I take one thing, as I desolder something from the current volume, I resolder it to the new volume. Um, just so I keep things straight. Okay, so as you can see, everything is wired up and uh, reinstalled. I had to install the new uh, push-pull volume for the switching. The battery I stuck uh, sort of on the lower side. The acoustophonic pad is actually stuck right to the side there. Um, and really the only only problem with it all is that there's a lot of wires that uh, are required for the uh, acoustophonic that I just had to uh, sort of coil up and put right down in there. Uh, anywhere you see uh, red electrical tape, that's just where I uh, had to snip a wire and just didn't want it uh, grounding out or touching on anything, so I just taped it up. So that's the uh, that's the guts of it. So there you go. There's the full. Paul Reed Smith Swamp Ash Special with the GraphTech Ghost Bridge System installed. Got the normal PRS wiring, the new Ghost wiring, and uh, that's the thing. Okay, so the mod is complete. So right now I have the standard magnetic wiring. <laughs> patch on the fractal and go to the acoustic pickups here. installation.